Welcome back to the lecture series of power electronics. In this video, I'm going to discuss what is chopper or what is DC-DC converter. So let's discuss what is the importance of DC-DC converter, what is the meaning of DC-DC converter, why DC-DC converter is required. So we'll be discussing the fundamental in this session. So in the coming session, we are going to discuss about the classification of chopper, the MATLAB modeling, etc. So moving on to the discussion. So first, let's get started. What is DC-DC chopper? Okay, you can parallel, you can make out, make a note. Okay, so I'm going to talk about so DC-DC chopper. So let's understand the fu fundamentals in this session. Okay, so what is what is a chopper? What is a chopper? Okay, so the first point you can note down. The chopper, it is also known as, first point, it is also known as a DC to DC converter. A DC to DC converter. Okay. Now, uh, we will understand uh, the peculiarity. It is a static device. It is a static device. In the sense, there is no moving part. Similarly, so you will be converting the fixed AC voltage into variable AC voltage using the chopper, the fixed, fixed DC, okay, fixed direct current DC, fixed DC is going to convert into variable DC, variable DC. That is another peculiarity of a DC DC chopper. Similarly, uh, it, the main application, like uh, it is used for like mainly speed control of motor, okay, speed control of speed control of DC motor, DC motor, then solar energy conversion, wind energy conversion, etc. Also, it is used for regenerative braking. Okay. Regenerative braking, especially in electric vehicle. If I talk about the vehicle, uh, we can go for like a regenerative braking. So, usually the chopper, how will you represent the chopper? Usually, the chopper will be represented in this particular fashion. You can make a note of this. Uh, see, like this. A switch. It is basically a switch with uh, a dotted square in this fashion. You can have a note of this. So, usually we will write CH. CH. Capital C, capital H. Otherwise, we can represent the same in the, in the form of a small block diagram as I have drawn on the screen. Uh, so, it is basically DC-DC converter, you can mark like uh, uh, DC to DC, uh, here you can uh, write like a uh, fixed input, see, fixed input, fixed input DC, fixed input DC. So, next one is uh, variable, variable output, variable Output DC. Correct. This you need to note down. When I talk about the waveforms, if you want, you can uh, note down the waveforms also. Here, yeah, the waveforms will be like this. This is your time and magnitude. Okay. DC voltage. DC voltage magnitude. DC voltage on Y axis. So, the output will be like this. Like this, you will be getting the output. Amplitude is same, but you can see the time period that is getting varied. So DC voltage. And this is your time. Okay. The width we can control. How we can control means we can use, we can change the duty cycle. I will let you know what is a duty cycle in the uh, next slide. Okay. So how we are going to control the duty cycle, I am going to explain. Okay. So as I discussed you are going to convert uh, fixed AC into variable, sorry, fixed DC into variable DC. Okay, fixed DC. We are having fixed DC magnitude and you are going to convert variable DC in this fashion. So, one second, I am going to draw. So, we have the fixed DC. Okay, DC voltage and you are going to convert the variable DC in this fashion. So, make a note of this. DC. Okay, this is your time. The magnitude is unchanged, remains unchanged. But the thing is, it, uh, you are like a width. See, the width is getting varied. The width is getting varied. How it is possible? Because 
the power electronic switch like uh, power electronic switch power electronic switches like uh, metal oxide uh, semiconductor uh, field effect transistor mosfet then insulated gate uh, bipolar junction transistor igbt okay igbt uh, then bjt and then sit static induction transistors uh, etc are the switches which we are going to mainly inculcate in dc dc converter uh, in those particular switches the main thing is you are going to control the duty cycle you are going to control the duty cycle uh, like uh, to control the output so what do you mean by duty cycle duty cycle duty cycle is nothing but so consider the uh, like a waveform here you can see like uh, this is our so please check the duration uh, this is my off period let me write like T off. Uh, this is my on period, correct? I'll be writing like T on. All together, let me write T. What is T? T comprises of T comprises of sum of on period and off period. Hope it is very clear. That's called equation number one. And by the way, duty cycle is nothing but it is the ratio of on period divided by total time period what is total time period t on plus t off from this uh, like expression we will write t on divided by total time see like this so now the exact idea how you are going to control the duty cycle see like uh, from the uh, for example there is a mosfet as you can see this is our mosfet switch okay we have the mosfet switch a gate gate terminal drain and source here only we are going to control the uh, like uh, we are main, gate is a control terminal here only you are going to control the on period and off period so now we will be generating the pw we are going to generate the pw signal and uh, the pw will be given to the gate according to that the output is getting varied so that means switching pattern is varied with respect to the pw the switching pattern in the sense the gate the gate like uh, the switching the switching will be changed in accordance with the pw right so uh, like uh, as the if you want to increase the on period suppose if you want to increase the on period what you are supposed to do you have to increase the duty cycle so we'll write like a duty ratio or duty cycle is directly proportional to on period as the duty cycle increases on period also will be high okay suppose if you want to have like a on period should be high and the output means you have to increase the duty cycle right so that is actually the concept of uh, dc dc converter now uh, we'll move on to the further discussion uh, here uh, you need to note down one more thing uh, like uh, major applications uh, like solar energy conversion we have wind energy conversion then switched mode power supply motor speed control that is already discussed even regenerative braking battery charge controllers dc voltage regulator these are the various applications of uh, dc dc converter that is what this domain is very wide okay so if you want to extract renewable energy sources, you should know about DC-DC converter. If you want to deal with the battery management, of course, you should know about DC-DC converter. So there are so many applications like battery management. So let me write here, battery management. You can have a note down, battery management. Okay, battery management, renewables, renewable, then uh, electric vehicles. If you want to deal with electric vehicle, popular type of converter known as bi-directional converters. That's also very much popular. Uh, then uh, like uh, regulators, voltage regulators, voltage regulators, all the type of devices uh, we require, all the type of uh, application we need DC-DC converter. That is what uh, power electronic converter is one of the most uh, wide and wide area for doing the research. Nowadays, you can see so many number of converters, researchers focusing on so many number of converters. Uh, this domain is uh, very much uh, popular, all right. So that is uh, regarding uh, DC DC you know, chopper. One of the objective questions in the unit in the gate examination. One of the objective question. A dash is known as a dash is known as a DC transformer. DC transformer. Please identify the option. DC transformer. Identify the DC transformer. We'll be you'll be getting you you are given with so many options. Please identify the right answer is DC DC converter or DC DC chopper. DC DC chopper is also known as uh, like a DC transformer, you know that uh, transformer never work, uh, never works in uh, DC. It's a work. It works only on AC. But when it comes to a, like a uh, analogy, we call it like a DC transformer. DC DC chopper is also known as DC DC uh, DC chopper. You know, like a transformer. 
so there are different type of dc dc converter so we can have the discussion like a step up converter a step down converter okay step down step down converter then a step up converter so combine step up step down converter step down converter different modes are available okay so step down converter is generally called as buck converter b u c k buck converter and uh, step up converter is known as boost converter and uh, step up or step down converter is known as buck boost converter buck boost please make a note of that these are the basic type of uh, dc dc converter in the next session i am going to talk about like uh, a step up step down converter how does step down converter i have the voltage of 24 volt now i want to reduce the voltage level into uh, 12 volt what exactly i have to do i require a step down converter so in the next session i am going to talk with the uh, uh, DC DC step down converter. It is also known as buck converter. Okay. So, uh, this is actually the overview about DC DC converter. In this session, let me summarize. I discussed about what is the meaning of DC DC converter, where does, where does it use, and uh, what is the basic working of DC DC converter, why it is needed. These are the basic uh, idea about DC DC converter. Let me know if you have any uh, discussion, any uh, queries related to DC DC converter. You can uh, ping me. Uh, I am going to reply back. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you a happy learning and have a great day. Thank you.